Hey, no matter what happens, I got your back tonight. I just have a strange feeling that Triple H... He said this... All right. There's a feeling of tension in the air as Buzz is about to find out the identity of his opponent. Sorry, Buzz. I'm not your opponent tonight. But I did personally select him. You see, I did a little digging these past couple of weeks and I was able to track down the person who cost you your shot at WWE. And that's who you're facing tonight. Come on out. No, it can't be. Who would have imagined? <laughs> Leave it to the cerebral assassin to pull off something like this. <laughs> I love it. when these two competitors can be unpredictable. That's what makes this match so intriguing. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. right now and I hate to say it but this might be the beginning of the end for him here big time will Buzz be able to continue I doubt it that just echoed throughout this entire arena Buzz is desperately trying to find out the identity of the masked attacker and there's just as much desperation on the masked attackers part to hide their identity from Buzz oh wow drop and hits the mark is over. Shoulders on the mat. He gets the shoulder up before three. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. Uh, oh, 
twist it, and then an elbow right to the shoulder. Power drop kick. Oh, goes down hard. Oh, what impact! He's going for it all. feet here and it's moves like that that make him so dangerous and here we go now uh oh what a hurt Big time slam down hard. Just when you thought he had nothing left. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find Death Valley bomb. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? He goes for the cover. He did what he set out to do, and that was win. Here's a few clips from the last match for us. He's getting it done here. And this is how he ended it. It looks like he finally might find out who cost him his WWE contract. That's, that's Baron Blade, the owner of BCW. I'm sorry, but I can explain. I attacked you after your WWE tryout because I didn't want to lose you. Without you, BCW wouldn't last. But more importantly, I didn't want to lose my protege. You're like a son to me. And I know after you lost your dad, I was like a father to you. Don't you ever mention my father again. Please try to understand. I know I messed up, but I had good intentions. Good intentions? You cost me my dream. I trusted you with everything. My safety, my career, my entire life. This is why I didn't want to invade NXT. I knew Triple H would use this to drive us apart. No, Triple H didn't drive us apart. You drove us apart. I never want to see you or talk to you again. We are done. Wait, just please forgive me. Go ahead, hit me if it makes you feel better. I deserve it. You're not worth it. I told you, this match would change your life forever. I swear, I had no idea about Baron. I'm just as shocked as you are. Just want to get out of here. What's the big hurry, Buzz? Don't you want to stay? Have some catering? I mean, it might be a good idea. Who knows where your next meal is going to be coming from after I just tore your little indie fed to pieces. I'm not hungry. We're not finished here. 
You guys thought you were so cute playing Invasion, but I have eyes and ears everywhere. And the moment they informed me Baron was the masked man that attacked you, I could not wait to light the fuse and watch everything blow up in your faces. You know, it took a bit of convincing to get Baron to do the match. I told him that I'd keep his secret, but I was going to expose him either way. So take your stuff, take your little buddy here, and go back to your rundown van and your rundown lives. Oh, wait. There's one more thing you might want to know. I bought your contract from Baron, which means I have control over you now. So you can also consider tonight your retirement match, because as long as I am alive, you will never step foot in a ring again. Now we're finished. Hey guys, hold on a second. Yeah, we couldn't help overhear all that, and we have a different plan in mind. This doesn't concern you. Actually, it does. Yeah, as respective GMs of Raw and SmackDown, our job is to find the very best talent for our shows. And from what we've seen the past few weeks and from his run on the indies, this man doesn't deserve to be sent off into early retirement. He deserves to be on the main roster. It'd be a waste to have him under contract sitting on the sidelines. You can stop right there. I've made my decision. Aren't you always using the phrase, what's best for business? He does always say that, Daniel. So, wouldn't putting your personal issues with a talent aside in order to make SmackDown... Or Raw. ...the best show possible be the exact definition for what's best for business? Fine. He's your problem now. You might have been bailed out this time, but I will never forget what you did. So what's it gonna be? I think you'd be right at home on Blue. Or you could be a part of WWE's flagship show, Monday Night Raw. <laughs> this has been an emotional night and uh, this is a lot to take in, but if I have to make a decision right now, I've got to go where I think I have the best opportunity to showcase my wrestling style and that's on SmackDown. Yes! 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 Hear that? There's a buzz on SmackDown. <laughs> Congrats, man. I don't agree with your decision, but I respect it. And if I've learned anything in my career, it's never say never. So who knows? Maybe you end up competing on Raw someday. In the meantime, good luck. Thank you. Buzz is now headed for SmackDown Unbelievable. Live! Unbelievable. Hey, bro. <laughs> what a crazy night. I know. That was the craziest, loopiest roller coaster of emotions I've ever been on, and I wasn't even riding in the front. <laughs> I can't imagine how you're feeling. I, I don't even know yet, okay? I'm, I'm still in shock from everything that happened. <laughs> well, good luck on SmackDown. Not that you need it. You're going to do great. Oh, uh, thanks, man. You know, I... Too bad you didn't get signed, too, but I think it's just a matter of time until you join me in WWE. Don't worry about me. After the attention we got invading NXT, I'm pretty sure my indie booking fee just about tripled. <laughs> Plus, I always got a standing offer to head back to Japan. That's good, man. That's good. Don't be a stranger. I won't. But if you're ever feeling lonely on the road, you can take a look at this and remember your old buddy Cole. <laughs> what is that? I took it off the scrap trap after our match and made it into a keychain as a sort of good luck charm. I want you to have it now. Aww. Thanks, man. I mean, if things don't work out in WWE, I think I might have a future as a, uh, a gas station bathroom attendant. So, thanks. You uh, might want to rinse it off. There's probably still some blood on it. Ugh. Could be ours. Could be an inmate's from when it was a prison fence. Who knows? Oh, God. Okay, well... What a missy, man. BCW handshake? It's kind of weird now. It's a little bit weird.
Oh, hey, bro. Long time no see, bro. I know, it's been a minute. I have an idea. One last road trip together? Let's do this. Wee -wee 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 Got to be kidding me. You know, seeing as how you're a big shot WWE superstar now, maybe it's time you get a nicer ride. At least one that runs? Uh, no way, all right? This van was the last thing my dad gave me. I'll get it fixed. Your stubbornness really bugs me sometimes. <laughs> get it? Because <laughs> it's a bug van. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Let's start pushing. SmackDown Live's newest superstar has arrived! Oh, I was hoping him getting signed was just a very bad dream. Yeah, sorry, Corey, but this is really happening. Welcome to SmackDown. I'm glad you made it okay. I was a little worried when you told me you'd be driving your van to the show. <laughs> I had a bunch of work done on it, so no need to worry. Spending that WWE money already, huh? <laughs> Not like that. Like I said before, I see a lot of myself in you. We both paid our dues on the Indies and faced a ton of adversity to get to WWE. But with all that being said, don't expect me to play favorites or give you any handouts here on SmackDown. You're going to have to earn everything you get. Hey, I wouldn't want it any other way. Good. And speaking of earning opportunities, that starts tonight. Because you'll be competing in an eight-man battle royal to determine the number one contender for Bobby Roode's US title. That's great. Who else is in the battle royal? You can introduce yourself now, or in the ring.
Up next is one of the most dangerous matches in all of sports entertainment. All eyes are going to be watching. WWE matches for over two decades, and Jinder Mahal defeating Randy Orton for the WWE Championship may have been the most surprising upset in WWE history. Michael, you brought up Mahal's upset of Orton. Jinder had an unsuccessful run on Raw in 2016, but won a chaotic six-pack challenge after joining SmackDown to face Orton for the WWE title. When Mahal finally got a main event opportunity, he ran with it. Jinder didn't just run with it, Byron. He did a freaking marathon. After quote-unquote upsetting Randy Orton, he successfully defended the title for 170 days against the likes of Randy Orton. Shinsuke Nakamura and Baron Corbin. Oh, what a slam! That hurt! Oh, man, right to the neck. The mighty Rusev looking a bit surprised by this assault. He looks incredibly motivated, though. Don't expect him to be down for long. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment here, right? I mean, it'd be crazy for him to think he was going to walk away from this match completely unscathed. And it's Zack Ryder showing some agility. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. And here comes the big Bulgarian. What a strike. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. Look out, look, Rusev with a running super kick. This one is over. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Setting him up for something here. And whatever it is, it's going to hurt, and it's going to hurt bad. You guys see that distance? Oh, that's flexibility for you.
He's looking at it. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. Woods might just be on his way to victory here. Oh, boy, he is rolling. A barrage of strikes. Endless. And Xavier Woods too quick that time. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. might just be on his way to victory here. What a display of athleticism. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. You're not going to win many matches absorbing punishment like that. What does Buzz have in store? A what a clothesline! There's the last competitor eliminated. It's over. You're looking at the new number one contender for the United States Championship. What a debut on SmackDown Live. He didn't even pin anyone. It was a battle royal. He didn't have to. Apparently, the U.S. champion wants to get a closer look at his opponent. It appears Bobby Roode isn't too impressed with Buzz either. Oh, that's because he watched the same exact match I did. Buzz isn't going to win the U.S. title by throwing Bobby Roode over the top rope. If you're just joining us, the number one contender for the U.S. title is here on SmackDown Live. And we've learned he's going to get his U.S. title shot at Backlash. Now, I can't wait to hear him try to rationalize how he even belongs in the same ring with Bobby Roode. Now, granted, I haven't been doing this as long as Bobby Roode has, so some people might think I don't have the right to say this, but it's the truth. The U.S. title needs to be held by someone who's more than just a catchphrase. Because what's truly glorious about that title is its history. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Bret the Hitman Hart, Sting, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Eddie Guerrero, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Those are just a handful of the legends who were once U.S. champion. And they made that title what it is today because of their amazing battles they had in the ring, not because they just repeated a word over and over again until it caught on. So when I become U.S. champion, I'm going to return the title to its roots. My reign will be about memorable matches, not memorable words. And that will be absolutely glorious! This should be good. Let me stop you right there. You come to SmackDown last week, get lucky by winning a battle royal, and then think you can walk out here and say that all I am is a catchphrase? You said it yourself. You haven't been doing this as long as I have. So here's another catchphrase for you. Shut your stupid rookie mouth because you have no idea what you're talking about. I haven't heard that one before. 
I've been at this for 20 years now. That's two decades of leaving everything that I have in that ring, night after night. And what have you been doing? Wrestling one, maybe two shows a month at your local high school gym? So you have no right to come out here and say that I am just a catchphrase. Because I have proof that I can back up everything that I say. What do you have? Oh, that's right. Nothing but entitlement and pure ignorance. Ooh, seems like I really touched a nerve there. I guess the truth hurts. Are we done here? Why, so you can say your catchphrase? Look, if you really want to prove that you're more than some cheap phrase, how about we make our US title match at Backlash one that would honor the legends who held that title before you? The men who battled each other sometimes for up to an hour. I'm proposing a match that's the ultimate in-ring test. No match against you will ever be a test, but please, continue. <laughs> okay, if you're so sure about that, then you'll have no problem taking me on in an Iron Man match. I have no problem whatsoever, and I don't care about what you say. Beating you will be absolutely glorious. Buzz's U.S. title match against Bobby Roode is now an Iron Man match. The championship is up for grabs. Coming up next. We have one of our breakout talents taking on some tough competition. Tonight, oh, two man. men set out to prove who can outlast the other in a group. Iron Man match for the U.S. title. Yeah, allow me to reiterate. This is Buzz's first singles match in WWE, and it's an Iron Man match. He's in way over his head, to say the least. A huge challenge, no doubt, but you got to start somewhere. He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. Oh, what a slam. Belly to belly. Vicious. Oh, what incredible power. Wow. What a vertical suplex. Not looking good for the champ here. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out oh, battle. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. Guys, in a title match like this one, on a stage as big as the one we're on now, you have to wonder how much nerves will become a factor. in trouble here. Circling back to your earlier point, Corey, you have to think nerves will play a big part in this match, which I think favors the champion, especially considering how many times the champ's been in big-time matches like this. I'd agree. The champ is used to the bright lights and bright stage. Dare I say, it's almost second nature at this point. A lot of people are saying the champion has never looked better, but that doesn't mean we can't see an upset here tonight. Whoa, Bobby Roode able to avoid damage. Nice. Nailed it. Wrenches the arm. Drop down. Beautiful. When this guy's on, look out. 
Big time. Will Buzz be able to continue? I doubt it. Things just went from bad to worse for Bobby Roode. As Byron was talking earlier about the champ being a heavy favorite here tonight, I couldn't help but think back to the night Santino Morella defeated Umaga for the Intercontinental Championship in 2007. I don't think there was a person alive who thought Santino had even a sliver of hope. Yeah, including Santino himself. But hey, as the old saying goes, anything can happen in the WWE. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find a Death Valley bomb. This might be it, guys. Wow, let's see that again. Man, he is simply a walking highlight reel. seats ever since this title match kicked off. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. If the champ loses the title here tonight, it won't be from lack of conditioning. Talk about being in phenomenal shape. Big time. Find the star. Here's his moment, Michael. Refuses to quit. A glorious kick out. I think more than that. Here we go. Whoa, Bobby Roode able to avoid damage. Nice. Looking to hurt him here. Oh my God, shoulder breaker. That could cause long term damage. Look at the attack on the back. There's no way the champ can lose him. And he gets the shoulder up. Uh-uh. You know, what a battle this has been. I mean, these men have absolutely destroyed each other over the course of this match, and there's still some time left on the clock. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. He looks to be losing a bit of leverage here. Oh, and he releases the hold. Wow. Part of me thought that was it, Cole. He's in trouble. Yeah, if he hits this, the match is over. Ooh, what an upper class strike. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Uh-oh. What a hurricane. Is the arm drop kick beautiful? Quick thinking to avoid that one. Some of 
the speed there. No, he breaks out of it. But does he have enough energy left to get back on the offensive? Trouble kicking out of that one. Gonna take a whole lot more. He's making a statement here with this attack. You gotta believe this one's over. Big time. Oh man, the champ looks absolutely out of it right now. Will this be enough? One, two, three. With that, he scores the fall there. himself in this mess. He's got to get himself out of it now. He's going for the pin. Two. Real close. Too close for comfort. He's still in this. These athletes seem to have tried everything in their playbook. Oh, there's more in their arsenal, I promise you that. I don't know what it is, but they'll slide Buster. The shoulders are down. Two. And an air fall. How'd he do that? This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. What a hellaciously physical match these gladiators have put themselves through. The intense might be it. Oh, my. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. It must feel like an eternity inside that ring right now for these superstars. Oh, nasty impact. Three. Nailed it. Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. down hard. Gonna have to get back in the ring here, guys. Running out of time. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Eight. Vicious strike. What a strike. Drop kick with precision. Big time. What a slam. Impactful. It'll jar your spine. That has got to be it. Things just went from bad to worse for Bobby Roode. Uh-oh. Dragon Ooh. But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. Things just went from bad to worse for Bobby Roode. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. Take 
knocks him down in a major way, too. He's calling for it. I don't think he should get up. Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. oh breakneck speed, one of her Karana. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Big time spine buster. Could lead to a big time win. The champ's in a real bad place right now. Digging deep for a kick out. We might be looking at a new champ here. The challenger scores a late fall. Oh, what impact. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. That's how you wear down your opponent. So much damage to the neck. Oh boy, he is rolling. Big time. Buster. That should do it. It gets more and more. Here's the pin. Title on the line. And the champ kicks out. Wow, I am impressed. He's lining him up. He's almost got him. Highlight for one superstar, low light for... Buzz has done it. He's outlasted Bobby Roode to win his first title in WWE. And even more impressive, he did it in his first singles match. This guy is the real deal. Yeah, look, it's certainly a huge accomplishment to win the U.S. title the way that he did. But now the real work begins, defending it. He just won the title. Let the man enjoy it for two minutes. The new United States Champion is here on SmackDown Live. From one champion to another, congrats on your win over Bobby Roode. Thanks. I mean, woo! <laughs> oh. Maybe you should leave that to me and my dad. We're scheduled to hear from the U.S. Champ later on tonight. And hopefully we don't have to hear any more of his terrible woos.